very difficult game for you. Yeah, um, I think we've been starting off slow recently, which hasn't helped us because as soon as we do get into the game, that's when teams can't really live with us. And that's why we've been getting the results and we've been unbeaten, obviously, until today, which is disappointing. And in the manner in which we lost, they only had, what, two shots on goal? And they're both goals. And then, obviously, we've had quite a few chances, but we weren't clinical enough and in the end, it's cost us. It was uh, more ironic that the, the chap that uh, got the winning goal, Patrick Brothers, um, was actually should have been probably sent off in yeah. that first half. It was a blatant red. We can't show the highlights uh, yet, but you can see them on our highlights package. But uh, very upsetting that sometimes that happens. Yeah, because you see it given, like, you see less red cards, and it's off the ball, he's just got up and he's just pushed him. Whether he thinks it's a dive or he doesn't think it's a penalty, you can't, you can't do that in football because I've seen, I've seen people get sent off for less. Like Lyndon, when Lyndon got sent off. Against Barwell. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that was worse because those two were both at it, but that one, he just come up and pushed the pair. So uh, I personally believe that should have been a red. But it was a, a strong side, Lisa, and they adapted rather well to our pitch, etc. They were strong, committed, they were well organised, and uh, just seemed to have the edge, although we did have the chances. Um, yeah. The goalkeeper, Marcus Garner, pulled off some great saves, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Uh, to be fair to the keeper, he did pull off uh, quite a few saves, but I still think that we made them look a lot better than what they actually were because if you put if you look at our performances previously, if we'd have started the game as well as we have done and uh, stifled the opposition as we had done before, I think we would have got the result and we wouldn't have made them look so good and we would have just carried on what we was doing. Obviously, there's huge disappointment in the um, changing room. Yeah. Um, we've got a quick kick, a game, I think, on Tuesday against Kutney United yeah, in the, uh, the North Ant Senior yeah. Cup and then it's back here on Saturday against AFC Mansfield. Uh, yeah. Trying to put things right? Yes. Yeah, obviously, today's a learning curve. I think... People know individually if they performed well or not. And obviously, I think people will go away, have a look at themselves and just think, what could I have done better? And what will I put right in the cup? I think the gaffer might change it a little bit in the cup to give uh, players a bit of time and a bit of game time. But when we come back here uh, against FC Mansfield, we're gonna get it, we should get it right. When you look at our personal performance, so we've just got to do what we was doing before and not change anything. Because as you say, you don't change something that's not broken. Yeah, it's a, it's a disappointment that we've lost um, at home the first uh, defeat of the season. It's bound to happen sometime. We're never yeah. going to go through a complete season undefeated like Arsenal did once, I think it was, the Invincibles. Yeah. But um, it's certainly with another good crowd here and uh, just a, a disappointment all around. Have you found it since you've uh, joined Catherine? Personally, if I'm honest, I think I find it difficult because coming from being at Derby County for nine years, it's a lot different when you change to men's football from academy because obviously... With men's football, it's a lot more gritty, you know. And like, physical. Yeah, more, a lot more physical. You haven't got as much time and you don't have a lot of time to adapt. So it's important that you, you know, each week, even if you're not starting, you watch, see what, um, let's say I would watch Azza, I'd watch Reese, whoever's playing up front, what they're doing and why their performance is good. But I feel like the gaffer's, you know, I've waited for the gaffer to give me a chance and I think when he's giving me a chance, I'm just trying to show him what I'm about and... You know, why so you've got the physique, I mean I saw you in pre-season as well, you were turning well and um, yeah. you've certainly got the physique and the power, just yeah. probably needs a little bit more time out there on the park. Yeah, as I say, I think today uh, was good for me because I just got time getting into the game, I think I was strong again today, um, just trying to get myself the chance to create because I, I can't finish and I've done that throughout my whole life being a striker, so it's just about getting back into that rhythm hopefully I get uh, more minutes to do so and as I do, when I do it just continues and I get a few goals we hope so too as I say we're playing Cutney United in the um, North Ant Senior Cup on Tuesday and then the AFC in Mansfield hope you get a, a turnout in at least one of those games I'm yeah, sure you nice. will it's disappointing to lose but yeah. uh, next game and uh, let's keep winning I think uh, we're still top of the league anyway yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. it's not all doom and gloom but yeah. uh, probably what we would need is the proverbial kick up the back side just to yeah, not reality get... check really yeah, I think some of us might have thought, you know what, we're winning, we're on top at the moment, but that's what you get when you get a bit complacent. It shows, and obviously that's what's happened today, but hopefully we'll put it right in the future and, you know, carry on positively. Okay, Jarvin, thank you very much for your time.